How are you all doing? This is Vertic Designs here and then for today's video I'm going to show you the two ways you can add some effects to your video. The first way is to actually edit the clip itself and add in stuff like color correction and the other way is to add in additional effects from other places which you might have downloaded and it pretty much just sits on top of the actual clip itself. If you have a clip then just drag it into Sony Vegas. I've already dragged it in, so it's already loaded. And the first thing, as always, you want to right click, go to properties, and then disable resample. We don't want that. You'll then want to look through the video and get rid of the parts that you don't want. So for me, I go all the way up to here and the rest I don't really want. To split a video, you press S and to get rid of a clip, you press delete once it's selected. I'm also going to cut a bit of the beginning because I don't want that. Just about here, I think I would start the video, maybe about here. Pressing S again and pressing delete. Moving this back to here. You also want to look into the properties and go to video. Make sure that this one is on disabled. Disable resample for the resample mode. And also you want to make sure that this is 60. But if yours is similar to mine where the frame rate isn't quite there, then I would recommend to leave it. If it was on 59, then yes, but for me, I'm going to leave it as it is. The video was quite laggy when I recorded it and I didn't actually get the full frames. I'm gonna press apply, press okay. And now that we've done that, like I said, the first way is to go to video effects right here. You want to scroll down and these are all the effects you can use. If you want to use something else, then go ahead but color correction is near the top, it is this one. You want to drag it into the clip. This is where you have the option between the colors. Some of them are different, so this is one of the main ones. You also have these templates, which I forgot to mention, so if you want to use the template, then go ahead. If you go down, you also have saturation, which is down here. And normally I put this to 15 and a half. I'm probably gonna lower my saturation, it's a bit high right now. And that is pretty much it, that's how you add in color correction. I would honestly recommend for you to first of all look at these templates and see how they are. What you want to do now is you want to right click under this empty space here and create a new video track. You can also use the shortcut if you remember that shortcut, but I'm gonna do it this way you want to find the effect which you're going to use. Mine is this one. I'm going to drag it in. And right now it is just sitting on top of the video. To make them blend, this is where you have all the effects right here. If you click on this icon, click on the composition in mode. Normally the best ones are add. If that one isn't good enough, then you can go to other ones like screen and another one is overlay. They're quite good. But for me, I think add looks really good right now. And if we just preview this, it looks quite nice. But the only problem is it starts off really quick. It just appears, so I'm going to give it a fade. You can make the effect slowly fade in by dragging the corners from here all the way to here. You can right click and this is where you have all your options for how it will actually fade in. So if you look at this now, you'll see that it slowly picks up. We are also going to add one for the end, so it, instead of it just disappearing, it will slowly fade out. Another thing that you should know about video effects which are sitting on top of the video is that you can slow them down or speed them up. If you hold control and drag the corners out, it will actually make it slower but I wouldn't recommend doing this all the time or stretching them really far because this is not the best way to slow them down. There is other plugins such as Twix the Pro and Velocity which are two better features for actually slowing the clip down but sometimes with effects you can actually slow them down just by doing this and it seems okay. Another thing that you should know is you have opacity here for the effect so if you want to turn it down you drag this down and it makes it more transparent. Okay, that's way too quick. Let's just slow this down a lot more. All the way up to the end, slow this down. 
And if we preview this now, they are a lot slower. But like I mentioned, it is not the best one to use for slowing the videos down because it does look like it's really slow and it does seem like it's lagging or it's missing quite a lot of frames. But anyway, I'm going to end it here. So thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it wasn't, then let me know in the comments below. Give it a rating if you'd like and also subscribe if you'd like to see more videos in the future. I do a lot of tutorials on video editing, Photoshop and many other videos. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.